On the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula lies Oman's region of Dofar. The capital and largest city is Salala, an ancient port town surrounded by blowing sands and dry mountains. It's a subtropical desert city completely surrounded by dry landscape with little vegetation, and it's more than hot enough to fry an egg on pavement. It's close to the largest uninterrupted sand desert in the world. This area, known as the Empty Quarter, covers an area over 250,000 square miles and can see temperatures reaching over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. A drone photographer was in the area capturing breathtaking footage of the vast, unrelenting desert when they were suddenly struck by what they saw. On the monitor, they watched sand turn into lush green ground cover and heat waves transform into thick jungle. They could not believe their eyes, let alone the equipment. The renowned desert landscape they were hoping to capture had been replaced by thick clouds and jungly green dewy rainforests. How is this possible? People often see visions in the deserts. Heat stroke and dehydration can be accompanied by symptoms of confusion, dizziness, and hallucinations. Another example of visions would be a light phenomenon called a mirage. A mirage is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions that create refraction of light from the sky moving between cool and heated air. This phenomenon is often associated with the desert, as the weather conditions that converge to make this magical effect are common there. But a mirage is a non-existent destination that will move farther away or even disappear entirely as you approach it. That's a thing. The definition of a mirage is that it is not real. It's an optical illusion. The jungle here surrounding Slala is very real and it attracts plenty of residents, tourists, and wildlife alike. It is not a mirage, though you'd be forgiven for mistaking it for one. So what could cause such a drastic environmental shift like this? Could this be an oasis? Though often confused for a mirage by weary, dehydrated travelers in films, an oasis is a point of lush greenery and fresh water surrounded by seemingly infinite sand. Though they might look fake, they're in fact very real. An oasis occurs where underground water rises to the surface of the desert. This water allows plants to grow and is an important source for parched animals, birds, and travelers. Powerful high winds can move sand dunes and erode this landscape, opening up areas and uncover natural springs or pockets of water that in some cases can be over 20,000 years old. In most cases, oases are the only source of fresh water for miles around and are vitally important for desert life as well as for those who travel across it. The Sahara is the world's largest and hottest desert covering almost 4 million square miles of Northern Africa. A huge aquifer below this desert feeds up to 90 essential oases that spread across its immense expanse, making desert crossings possible. If well-maintained, an oasis is a permanent feature of a desert, like the 2,000-year-old Crescent Lake Oasis in China's Gobi Desert and Peru's extraordinary oasis town of Huacachina, centered around an aquifer-fed lagoon. It's the only natural desert oasis in South America. But here in Oman, something different is going on. Most of the year, this area is bone dry, and especially here in the Dofa region. Actually, the entire country of Oman has no permanent lakes or rivers that could be supporting an oasis. Between June and September, the area becomes a lush jungle with waterfalls and swimming holes spreading up across the region. Waterfalls like Ain Gogub only have enough water to look this spectacular once a year. So with so little water available, how is a jungle growing in the middle of the Omani Desert? Studies conducted in the Dofar jungle around Salala suggest that the trees actually extract water through contact with moist air and clouds. 
and not just rainfall as one would expect. The leaves of these unique trees are actually drinking from the clouds. So it's a cloud forest. A cloud forest is a tropical or subtropical mountain forest covered by low-hanging clouds that create an extraordinarily humid climate. These weather-created forests typically experience periods of heavy rainfall and near-constant condensation and moisture. The humid air condenses on the leaves and surfaces of the tree where it's absorbed and channeled to the roots, taking the opposite journey water normally would. These forests can be seen as self-watering, where ordinary cloud forests might supplement their water intake with low-lying clouds. Studies of the Dofar jungle indicate that its trees actually get more of their water from the moist air and not rainfall. That is pretty wild. Cloud forests are primarily found in mountainous regions at elevations between 3,000 and 8,000 feet, where clouds are more readily available. But the jungle around Salala only ranges from 85 feet along the coastal plain to around 2,300 feet in the surrounding Dofar Mountains. Today, as few as 1% of remaining global woodlands are cloud forests, and only two of those cloud forests are found in the desert. So not only are cloud forest ecosystems rare, Salala's pop-up jungle is the rarest of them all. How is Oman's cloud forest possible? Every year, a weather system travels from the Indian Ocean and across the Persian Gulf covering Salala and the surrounding desert in constant fog, mist, and cloud. The locals call it a karif, which is basically a monsoon. The monsoon blankets the area in thick clouds, but at the top of the escarpment, sweltering desert winds act as a wall preventing it from traveling further. The escarpment also protects the cloud cover below, creating a bowl within which the vegetation can flourish finally getting the water and nourishment it's been waiting for. It really is amazing to see. Closer to the end of the cycle, you'll see camels everywhere. The dissipation of the fog over the jungle acts like a signal to the camels to begin their migration from the plateau. Dofar has a long history of nomadic camel herding. Long before oil took over Oman's economy, this part of the Arab world was made up of nomadic tribes who lived off the land alongside their camels. Now, increasingly large herds of camels are having a devastating impact on the jungle. Hungry camels eat vegetation indiscriminately, even stripping the trees of integral leaves and bark, ultimately killing the trees that hold the essential cloud cover in place, putting the entire ecosystem at risk. This desert cloud forest is already delicate, and given its limited weather-dependent existence, no one knows how long it will survive. The Salala Karif works like magic, but when the monsoon is over, this tropical paradise will vanish as quickly as it grew, transforming back into a sand-blown desert, as if it was all a dream.